So I had, uh, I just recently like seen you on, on Showtime, you know, walking out, uh, what's the boxer name? It's Ryan Boots. Yeah. yeah. How, how'd that come about? That's my dog on phone, you <laughs> For real, I, I, and I was going to the gym in Philly. My, uh, I had one up the, the whole time, his, his daddy was supposed to coach me too. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to be a boxer before rap. Yeah. For sure. I ain't really want to rap, I want to box. Like, like that was really my dream, to be a box. Bro, that was a bit crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I still want to box. I try to make one of my sons box. <laughs> you know, how was that experience, though, walking out, and, uh, you know, in front of so many people? Man, that shit was that crazy, you know, for them gravy. When I, when, I, when I first walked out, I was damn. <laughs> Man, sometimes nigga be getting that, like, I ain't, that shit be shocking, like, never. Oh, bro. I'm feeling so not. When I walked out, I'm like, damn, but when the crowd was rapping, that shit turned me up. It's like, damn, y'all know this shit? <laughs> I'm feeling that sound, damn, but I'm like, duh, motherfucker, this bitch. That sounds too damn hot. <laughs> so, for sure. So after uh, you did that, like, you know, what was your feeling like? Like, what was going through your head? Like, was that something like you ain't believe was happening, or how was it? I ain't gonna like. I gotta do something. I gotta do something bigger. Oh, I gotta do something bigger next. That's all I've been. I was thinking, still thinking. Boy, you may want to check it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> my, my other homie Javante Davis on phone. That's my man. He was going crazy. I've been tuned with folks since he's since he got in the light. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I used to, I damn thought he was from Chicago because it seemed like he got a lot of connections from the city. He not <laughs> hey, from here though. Right? Yeah, nah, he from Baltimore. I used to be going to the club, folks. That's my only on phone. Baltimore is that the place that be like? Doo, and doo. You ever seen the wire? <laughs> yeah, on phone. That's yeah, that's where the wire. That's the wire. <laughs> I'll be yeah, they be like, true. I do <laughs> they talk country on phone now. <laughs> I, I'm fucking about to on phone now. Them. Another thing I seen, I seen you on the news for like some positive shit, talking to uh, some children. And, uh, what was that about? Like, what was you breaking down to them? Basically, like, they was, they was on some, finna make some wrong steps in life. That's that's the shit I like doing, you know, guide people the right way. That's based with my book about, about what I had said, but I, when you get in that peace and shit, that's the shit I want to do. Help guide the youth and shit. Because that's, that's who matter. Yeah. yeah it's, it's good to catch people early because, like, a lot of people like your age, older, a little younger, like, they done been through what they gonna be, go through already. So it's like, they already got that pain built up, that anger, the animosity where it's like, it's gonna be hard to change their mind, you know? Yeah, if you catch somebody before they take a loss, that's the right. But once they take that loss, they don't know what the fuck they gonna yeah. do. That, that's basically how everybody fucked up right now. Once they took that loss, niggas changed. Do you feel like it's more effective when like, Somebody like you talking to them versus somebody that probably ain't from a, a similar environment. Yeah, that's how I feel. Cause ah, when I be talking to people, they be like, "Man, why you don't go talk to a counselor?" You know, I'm like, "Man, how the <laughs> fuck can I talk to somebody that ain't even been through shit I've been through?" Yeah. They be like, they understand people mentally. I'm like, "But how could they tell me son if they ain't even been through this?" I can see it. Okay, you went to school. You read about how the mind work and how people emotions and shit. But how could you tell me if you ain't been through it? Oh, bro. Yeah. There's certain problems that people deal with. I don't even understand how could a like a, a therapist help it? Because it's like sometimes it might be something you actually going through. You might be, you know, tired of being at risk of your life every fucking day of your life. It's like. What can a conversation do to change that? Nothing, you know? You still gonna have ops. You still gonna have people that you mi missed. They still gonna be so it's like, it's I'll be trying to understand like, what can they really do? Exactly, the person that can change that is, that, that's that's what make Vaughn so, like a, like, 
like like a star because like how he had an impact because he was really doing like in the in the life and then he changed. So people would rather listen to him like damn he really was there. That's how kids can listen to me. Like damn he really was there. So that that's, that's basically how that should be better. Speaking of uh, Vaughn, you had said like you was with him like the last two weeks. Uh, him living right. Yeah. How was how was that like? What was y'all on? What type of shit y'all got into? I ain't gonna lie, we was all we was thinking about was helping the block, thinking about changing our family life. We just that's all we talked about, making it, making it, like how we finna change this shit. That's that's, that's all we was on. All work, folks was working every day. We just talking about what's the next step. What's the next step? That that that's how our days went. Our last days. You know how was it like moving around with him though? With him being like such a star, like even with the women type shit. Like was it like was it times where y'all still be dry, or was it like down there like unlimited whatever a motherfucker really want type shit? <laughs> I always wonder, like you know, like there's levels to this shit. Once you got a little money, clout. Yo, I should definitely become more than the average person, but I be wondering like, all right, do those niggas still be dry sometimes? It's like, I'm fucking the crib, like, damn, I got no hope. <laughs> nah, I can't even say that, cause uh, yeah, niggas be dry. I don't know, but, but I know you be just going to DM, but yeah. you know that shit risky, just going to.